Hey friends, it's Tammy with Art by Tammy Lassiter. I thought I would just take this few minutes and show you some of the works that um, I do other than resin. Um, I work with pastels and acrylics and watercolor inks, um, as well as my resin works. Um, I, I just enjoy a whole host of um, various mediums. And so um, today I thought I would just show you just a few of my most recent pieces and um, before we get busy on our project for today. And so today I'm going to be working on this oval dish mold that I got from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm going to be using one of their new pigments, the um, a sparkle silver or, and then the blue pearl. I love that um, pigment. And the deep blue, which is very similar to a royal blue. I'm going to be adding just a little bit of my uh, ultramarine to that. And I'm going to be using Reflections Lagoon um, glitter on, on this piece. I've mixed up about 12 ounces of resin um, to do this and just to work on a few extra little projects. Um, but this is this is my main piece today. So first I'm going to be pouring in just a bit of my um, blue pearl. I use this um, particular pigment quite a bit. I just love the effects that it gives. And then my Sparkle Silver. Um, this is the first time I've used this. It's a new pigment at Dryer Days Art Studio. And I was super impressed with the shine that it gave me. You can even see here on the video just the sparkle that it gives. Um, and then I'm just going to lay in just a bit. I don't want much. Um, glitter in this particular piece, but I'm just going to go ahead and lay in just a little. And all of this will find its way along the side walls of the mold as I begin to pour over it. Uh, and, and I'm just pouring in layers. Next is my combination of my uh, deep blue. Like I said, it's very much close to what I would say a royal blue is. And I added just a drop of um, my ultramarine. I didn't really see where it changed the color that much. But um, we'll see what type of effects it gives. <clears throat> Going back and laying over um, my Sparkle Silver and my Blue Pearl. And as I said earlier, just building the layers, adding a little bit of heat to kind of try to move um, these layers around a bit, let them incorporate with one another, and to um, encourage the pigments and um, glitters to find those side walls and fill it in. This is a really good size mold. Um, it's, a, it's a nice size piece. I'm going to go back 
can add a little bit more glitter. Um, just a little. Pinching my cup tightly um, for a fine stream of the glitter. and my sparkle silver as you can see in here this sparkle silver I don't want to say it's white um, it's a darker white color um, but very pretty very very pretty and I think has worked really well together with the blue pearl pigment and now I'm just going to go along those side walls and make sure that um, any bubbles that might be trapped down into the mold um, that I work those out the best I can. It's very easy to maneuver my stick along those side walls. And I decided as I came out that I would use my stick and play around with the colors just a bit. Not much, just a little. Super pretty color combination. Simple, but very pretty. And just a little spray of alcohol to try to get rid of any remaining bubbles on the surface. I had some leftover resin. Um, all of the pigments except for the blue pearl <clears throat> plus I had a remaining glitter um, so I have decided to you can see it in the lower left corner to pull out my uh, round geode coaster molds also from Dryer Days Art Studio and use what resin I had left maybe to make a matching coordinating something to go along with my tray and this is the first time I'm using these molds as well I'm just gonna wipe up the the blue deep blue resin that I had on my fingers and um, I'm gonna go on ahead and pour in my um, clear 
flow resin. It is starting to get a little bit thicker. Um, it's probably been about 20 minutes into um, my um, activating the resin. And so it's slightly thicker than um, when I originally started. And so it's going to be really important to try to keep my eye out on um, the temperature of the resin and the remaining colors that I have left from my over mold and making sure that um, it doesn't get too hot and make it more difficult for me to use. So I decided in this short period of time that um, I was going to try one of the um, flowers in my geode mold. So my um, current um, the glitter mixture is a little thin for um, for the center of it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of extra glitter there and some of the pinata white to the um, silver sparkle. Just a drop of the pinata white to what I have left there. And since I already have alcohol ink in the blue, um, I should be okay on that. And here's when I add the additional glitter. And really what I'm trying to do is to make that resin and glitter mixture a paste-like consistency so that when I lay it down in the resin, it doesn't um, float and op open up and float in other areas of the mold. I'm just popping any surface bubbles. And I'm just going to wait a short period of time and allow my pigments and glitter mixtures to thicken even further. I'm going to um, collect my piping bags and um, cut those down. Please be sure if um, you are 
seeing anything that you enjoy um, or learn in this video, I'd love it if you would subscribe and also to give me a like. And there I am cutting my, my bag or my pigments. I apologize, you can't see this on screen. And I'm just um, getting a cup and I'm opening up my um, piping bag and putting it down inside of the little cup to keep it open and folding the bag over the sides so that I can pour my thickening pigments inside You can just see those cups off screen and um, I'm just pouring in my pigment pigments now into the piping bags. I still had quite a bit of pigment left. Okay, I've given it now about mm, an additional 20 minutes or so and everything is thickening um, and so I'm going to go on ahead and 
put in my gl glitter set glitter center you can see how thick it is it takes quite a while for it to release from my stick and um, you can even see how thick my um, resin is when I drop it down in there My clear fly resin has a really good working time and um, it can be um, a guess sometimes as to uh, how long to wait before you um, do your piping. And you can see that um, it's holding its shape, it's not diffusing out. And I've gone ahead and I've um, got my deep blue mixture. And I'm just checking to see how warm it is and um, making sure that it's ready to go and I'm just going to um, cut the edge of or the very tip of that you don't want too much if it squirts out as soon as you cut that tip then it's really not quite ready uh, and this was and this did not do that it was um, thickening up quite well and it took pressure for me to um, pipe out the resin at this point. Uh, it, I probably waited about five minutes longer than I should have, um, but it's really just a, a guessing game. All right, and I'm going to <coughs> go around with my um, blue pigments and form my flower petals. And at this point, I think I have decided um, <clears throat> that I may have waited a little bit long for my um, my flower to bloom like I want it to. Um, but I've got the resin and I may as well use it. So we're just gonna play, experiment, and see what happens. So I've got two layers of the um, deep blue pigment piped. And now I'm just gonna come in with my white or my, excuse me, not my white, but my um, sparkle silver and pinata white mixture.
And this has gotten so thick that it, um, it almost, the pigment almost clumps. I'm just going to do um, another layer of petals because I have the pigment. So again, if there's any um, part of this video that you have enjoyed or learned from, I really appreciate um, a like and I'd love for you to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Also feel free to share. my stick and redirecting some of the petals that I had created. And I'll just let those wait. Okay, so it's been probably about um, 11 hours and I'm anxious to um, unmold my pieces. So I'm just going to begin with the oval tray and um, initially just go around it and loosen up the piece from the um, side walls. And I'll just go all the way around and then come back to the most narrow end of it. And pull that down and around the um, this is still a little on the soft side because, again, it's only been about 11 hours. love the way the colors intermingled um, and moved and you can really see how the um, silver sparkle pigment um, really you can see that silver more in it now than um, as a wet pigment um, and it's just really very pretty. Okay. 
with just those subtle hints of the blue pearl. And so I'm just playing with it, seeing if um, I can form the edges higher, and they are still malleable at this point. If I if I wanted to do that, very gently. And with this one, you really do have a very nice surface area um, to use this tray in a lot of different ways. I'm just going to make sure that that mold gets turned back like it should be to preserve my mold. Um, those molds are super, super nice molds. I've really enjoyed using them. And um, I enjoyed using my new um, round geode mold from Dryer Days as well. Um, I had I, had, had I um, anticipated... I probably left my resin set just a little bit too long. This resin really doesn't heat up too much uh, in most circumstances. And so it's really hard to gauge um, for these flowers when is a good time to pipe it. Um, and so it's really kind of a, a guessing. And I think I let it go a little bit too long. It did bloom, but not as much as I would have liked it to, as I, as I show you here in just a second. And so this is the back side of it. still pretty but um, next time I, I won't push the resin quite as long as what I did this time I almost did not unmold this particular one because it does need um, some doming on it, but um, since the piece did not turn out as I had expected it to, um, I probably won't use it to sell, um, but even just a gift to a friend, I probably um, will go in and dome it just outside of the mold. They're still very feathery and pretty. Uh, it just doesn't have the dimension of the petals that I would have liked. And I had even some more leftover resin left in um, in my piping bags. It was very hard to get out, but I, I had some nearby molds for some earrings and um, and for um, uh, a phone um, grip. <laughs> And 
And so these are just the few pieces that I made with the leftover resin that I did have. pairs of earrings. I like these. Um, it's hard to tell. I apologize. My studio lights um, do have glare on these pieces. And all of these pieces are going to set up and um, cure completely. Thanks for watching.